sex, it's, you know, I've had these questions about sex in marriage, okay? Um, personally, before I got married, I was very, very excited for sex, you know? Because, you know, after you hear all the, uh, the sermons about keeping yourself and then the advantages of purity before sex, um, be purity before marriage, you get excited when you finally get the go lights you get the green lights to um get married and then have sex and then you get married and then um you have sex here and then and then you enjoy it and all of a sudden it's like okay um you pretend as if you don't want to have it anymore and a lot of women tend to have that issue For some time now, I've been wanting to discuss this topic, sex after marriage, right? If you're not married, um, sex before marriage is fornication. The Bible is, God is not pleased with that. And uh, sex with somebody else other than your wife or husband is adultery. And Bible speaks against that. So let's get right into today's topic. Well, let me ask these three questions, okay? One, does sex get boring as the marriage gets older? Two. Do men like sex more than women? Please find those answers. Three, is sex an obligation in marriage? Are you obligated to have sex when you're married by all means? Three exciting ways that we can all um, explore in getting our um, sex life um, more enjoyable. Number one, sex life is as good as your marriage. And this has been found in a lot of studies that the, the better your marriage is, the better your sex life can be. So we should all marry husbands and wives, we should work on getting our marriages fixed. Um, what, what do I mean by that? Um, try to be tender, try to be forgiving, try to not hold in, try to communicate. Um, the the well-meaning your, your, your marriage life is, the better your sex life. If your marriage is full of resentment, bitterness, and different things like that, you're not gonna have a great sex life. I don't care. Um, you can have something, but one person definitely is not gonna enjoy that activity or that intercourse. And so make sure that you're working on your marriage because based on your marriage, the quality of your marriage is directly related to the quality of your bedroom tactics or the quality of your sex life. So work on that marriage, work on being very tender, very caring, speaking well, um, you know, loving your partner, not just in the bedroom, but outside the bedroom in several ways as they communicate to you so that your bedroom games or your bedroom or sex or physical intimacy in the bedroom can be, um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> or sexual intercourse in the bedroom can be exhilarating. So work on your marriage. Work on getting your spouse happy, your husband happy, your wife happy. Do the things they like. Get them thinking about you. Get you know think about them to help them out. Lend them a hand. Um, be kind. Be sweet to them. As you do these things, I'm not talking about sexual. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about get doing these things to get sex. But do these things because you love the person because you like the person because you know the more you work to enhance your marriage the more you work to have a quality marriage the better your sex life or the easier it is to have a quality sexual intercourse with your partner if your marriage is not working and you try to just use sex to fix it that's not gonna work the better you you pay attention to your real the real deal in your marriage the better the sex is gonna be point number two Please don't use sex as a reward or punishment in your marriage. Please do not. Sex is not meant to be a reward or re reinforcement, a positive or negative reinforcement. You can definitely up your game when to you, you want to appreciate your partner, but using that as a reward or punishment is not what God intended it to be. Sex is actually an expectation in marriage that when you get married, your marriage needs to be consummated and then you owe it to your partner to be able to satisfy them, to compliment them. It's part of that suitability, it's part of that uh, plan, the game plan of God to make 
you um, fulfill some desire in your husband, to fulfill some desire in your wife. And so it is not a reward system and it's not a punishment system. Um, a lot of ladies um, from observational studies tend to use that as a reward or punishment. So if you're nice to me during the day, um, then you're gonna get some at night. If you're not nice to me during the day, then um, you ain't gonna get nothing in the night, in the morning, or in the afternoon. <laughs> so please, um, let's take note. Um, make sure that you're not being selfish and we are not um, using other excuses, staying on social media the whole time because you want your partner to sleep so that you can go to bed. Um, Pretending as if you're, you're sleepy when the per, your, your, your husband or your wife is ready to have it. Um, not be sincere. And you know, deliberately doing things. Deliberately getting tired. Deliberately getting sick because of sex. Deliberately faking sickness and faking um, all kinds of faking menstrual cycles just to avoid sex. And again, from observational studies, men also like to per be pursued for sex your husband would like for you to pursue him. If you are not doing that, please start doing that now. Make sure that you're calling games too. Don't let the man call the game all the time. You to call the game. Make sure that you put on your best skill. Don't always be the one that is being at the receiving end. Let him also be at the receiving end also. Also try to make things exciting in that sex. Um, when you when you are the, um, the one who calls the game, you know. There are factors that can decrease the excitement and desire for sex in marriage, especially after childbirth, when you have, you know, little itty bitties in the house, um, sicknesses and different things like that. And during those times, you really need to communicate with your partner and know what is going on, be on the same page, be on the same plan for the game so that if it's something that you need to bear each other up, you bear each other up and then you, you tolerate and you create room to accommodate the needs of your partner or your spouse and not be um, selfish and also not be lazy in that sense. Um, selfish in the sense that you want it by all means, that's what you want and so you're gonna um, get it by all means because you're entitled to it. And also lazy in the sense that you use those things as an excuse even when you are able to accommodate your spouse. So let's just be careful with that. So number three, don't make sex too predictable in your marriage. That is why a lot of people tend to believe that sex in marriage gets boring as the marriage gets older. Um, switch the duties, change the sheets, change the lights, change your, your, your wife's wardrobe, lingerie wardrobe, um, change your husband's, you know, <laughs> Do they have lingerie? Whatever they have. Change your wardrobe also. Don't let the woman always be fixing the bed. The man can also change the bed. Buy some new fancy lights in your bedroom. Whatever you need to do, get out of the bedroom. Get out somewhere. Whatever you need to do to make it exciting, to make it not so predictable, um, that can help to decrease the boredom. If you're always starting from A to Z, sometimes start from Z to A. Sometimes start from, you know, Use A for apple, B for boy, C for cat, whatever. Don't just say A, B, C, D, E and do that all the time. Every day, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, please. Don't do that. <laughs> Change it up, switch it up, spice it up. And that has a potential to excite your intercourse in the bedroom than doing the same, following the same room, routine and patterns. Additional tips that I'll give is avoid emotional, um, negative emotions, bitterness, uh, resentments, and jealousy, and embrace a youthful zest for your marriage or sex life. You know, just get into it. Just try to have sexual conversations about with your spouse. See, talk about your sex life with your spouse. Talk about express yourself. The women, we need to let them know. Wives need to let their husbands know what um, they like and what they don't like. Women, we need to let each other know what we like and what we don't like outside the bedroom. You know, we need to have that conversation. We need to be able to explore what we think about certain things in the bedroom so that we can all be on the same page. I'm um, trying to make it fun. Also try and have complete sex. What do I mean by that? Complete sex in the sense that you have the appetizer, you have the main course, and then you have sweets after meal. The appetizer, you know what I'm talking about. Do everything, not the game. Don't just eat the appetizer as the main course, please. <laughs> Do what you need to do. Um, they call it the outer course. The outer course. Do everything. You know, massaging, kissing, and everything. And just do it. And sometimes, 
those out of course need to come by itself I know that sometimes we go to restaurants and we just order appetizers only we don't um, even eat the main course sometimes that's all it is you don't need to go further to switch it up and to change it up that's another style you know and make sure that after you've had the main meal you have sweets after meal women tend to enjoy the conversations that come after sex so if you just are the one that snores away um, right after it honey you're not scoring any goals here you, you're not the, the MVP you're not gonna get the MVP title so please make sure that you engage in sweets after meals make sure that your woman is comfortable and connected intimately with you and then everybody goes home happy men please don't just go with you know whatever you know how to do just use women thrive on verbal expressions so please open your mouth use verbal expressions to express how you're feeling how you like them not just in the bedroom but before that and those things tend to increase the desire for the a much better intimacy in the back, um, bedroom than not doing so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it leave the comments below like the video share subscribe and let me know what you think again we will see you again in our next video thank you so much for watching god bless you